So I just got my bottle of Hardy Nutritional Supplements in the mail. And it's a really big bottle. And I'm just about to take the first one. It's evening time. And the first three doses, you just take one. And then the next three, you take two and blah, blah, blah. Up to four at a time, three times a day. And they were saying that in about three weeks, I might need to reduce some medication, but it varies depending on the person. So I need to watch out for side effects of medication because this stuff could make me have side effects as the medications become unnecessary. And I was really hoping to do this at home when I was back home, but I'm experiencing things and I'm slowing it down with extra medication. Last night I took two Seroquel and I was laying there for a while and I couldn't quite fall asleep and interestingly enough I felt this energy kind of at my root chakra area and it felt like it was kind of swirling around and I had this sense that it was that kundalini energy they talk about and it just started moving around and I thought to myself oh no you don't like not now and so I took another Seroquel so I have a feeling that since the process this time didn't really start and then get medicated, it just sort of barely got initiated and I took medication knowing that I don't want it to go into full force, but it feels like it's still wanting to go to some kind of peak but I'm not letting it and I'm not sure what the result will be because I don't feel kind of like last time and other times I've gone to the hospital where it's basically gone into full-blown whatever you want to call it crisis distress so-called psychosis whatever PTSD but this time I stopped it so in a way it's good it's like a next step where I haven't let it get out of hand I've put the handle on it but in a way when it gets out of hand it sort of comes to a peak and then plateaus and then drops off but I feel like I'm in the space where I'm preventing the peak and I've never really been there before except for maybe preventing little peaks building up to the big peak where basically I guess what happens is I lose control and not that I'm out of control because I'm actually in control but there's an element inside whether it's scary stuff inside that I'm not in control of and it's just sort of there and running its course and it's terrifying and I just don't want to get into that absolutely terrified state but in a way, I feel like if I keep just stopping it, I'm going to have to continue to drug myself. But maybe with the help of these supplements, I won't need to do that. So again, even though I've experienced crisis five times, this one is somewhat different. And again, I thought that I would have a good five and a half to six months before anything started. So here I am in California in the exact scenario that my family was afraid of and I didn't think would happen. But luckily, I can keep myself safe. I haven't really told anyone and there's no one really to tell too much to, but I've told one of my friends back home and they are prepared to come and escort me home. But I really want to get to ECPR 
in April. I booked a hotel for one night to go to the class and I just really want to get a sense of if it's going to be helpful. And it's interesting because I find myself in a situation where I really wish I was surrounded by people who know this emotional CPR and and I wish I just wish I could let go of this energy and let it do what it needs to do. I feel like this time I almost wish I could just go into that terrifyingness and and cuz once it starts then it comes to an end after a couple of days and and then I'm okay, but this time I seem to have stopped it from happening and now I know it's still there. It's not like okay, it got to the worst point and now it's only going to get better. I'm just afraid that it's still going to come out. And that, I guess, I'll have to go through it somewhat alone. And interestingly enough, after my last crisis that I got through with the help of my family and community so wonderfully, I said, maybe next time I'll just do it by myself and not tell anyone. And now I'm in this situation where I might end up having to do that. So I've been wearing my heart rate monitor and I'll wear it to sleep to see if my heart rate speeds up because that's what happens. And I'm not really afraid of it for myself. I'm just afraid of it for the situation that I'm in. And I, I did sort of say to myself that if there was any sign of anything, I would make my way home right away. And so even in staying here these two more days so far, I've gone against that. I just don't want to... I don't really want to cut it short. So I really... I'm just so hopeful that this supplement helps me because if it doesn't I might just have to go home or continue to really drug myself with Seroquel which is fine but it's difficult to get through the day and again it feels like I'm trying to stop the thing from happening versus just get through the fallout and it feels kind of scary because of that. So I, I guess if I can get through the next couple weeks and go to ECPR, if I have to go home after that, I guess I have to. But the thing is too, is that I could allow myself to go into that state and just get over it and take a week to get over it and then just continue on. It just feels like time is running out. Like I'm trying to hold myself up against a force that I'm not sure what it is and I just really hope this stuff helps. And I was always thinking that it would be cool to document coming off medications. But I didn't know I'd be forced into a scenario of doing it, of a sort of desperation. And I have my and I have my zap strap kit I've been carrying with me with the extra Saraquil and that way I can always 
secure myself to something. And I have my medical ID bracelet that I'm wearing. And I just really hope this doesn't turn into one of those stories that I end up not making it and then my videos are discovered and then people are like, wow, too bad we didn't have more helpful services for people to get through this stuff. I really want to get through it and be able to help people. Because the medications are helpful, but they're also not helpful. There's like the tiniest little caterpillar I've ever seen. You see it? I was thinking today if there was just going from looking at hummingbirds to looking at the next thing to the next thing infinite delights outwardly we'd never have this experience of inward anything like the tiny caterpillar I didn't know t I didn't know caterpillars could be that small. Today I saw a hummingbird really close. He was flying and drinking out of all the little flowers. There's so much beauty. I feel like I need to practice some of the things I've talked about, like posture and things like that, to make sure that I don't get crushed by this. Look at him go. So I'm going to take one of these pills and, and that's the thing, I get so confused, I forgot I could take more Trazodone instead of more Seroquel and so tonight I'm going to take more Trazodone to try and get a good sleep and keep this energy at bay and I was even thinking that I wish that I could have a retreat with Sean Blackwell because I think after the kundalini thing happens there's holotropic breath work that happens naturally I actually remember that sort of what happened the very first time it was like this energy that made me pretty much collapse and just lay there and breathe And it's kind of a scary process to lay there and breathe like that.
go bottoms up. This will make good documentation if it does work. I feel better already. It's getting stuck in my knuckle hair. He thinks it's one of his friends. He fell. Where are you? Tiny caterpillar. Hmm, I see you. You are so tiny.
coming, little guy. Okay. Wrong way, buddy. Tiny caterpillar in his natural environment. 